Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're here in the car and we're at Long John Silver's because I have a new item out. Now, the fact of the matter is that I'm quite tired. I've been up for a very long time, so we're going to keep this short and we'll cut some of the uh, some of the usual BS. Today's review is for the Coastal Cod Sandwich from Long John Silver's. It features a new Alaskan blend of Coastal Cod's Cod Fish on a sandwich, of course. Featuring, of course, their blend of tartar sauce, pickles, and, of course, on a bun. So it's from Long John Silver. They don't have too many new items out, but they have a new one out today. There's the bun. You can see it's, uh, it's a bun. It's composed of bread. The fish itself is, uh, is nicely breaded. It's, again, coastal cod, and featured below that, of course, is pickles and coated nicely in tartar sauce. Let's just eat. I'll tell you what it tastes like, and that'll be that, and then I'll go to sleep. All right, so it's the Coastal Cod Sandwich, uh, which they ever so lovingly drenched in, in uh, tartar sauce from Long John Silver's. We're just gonna eat up and uh, I'll tell you what it tastes like. So the Coastal Cod Sandwich from Long John Silver is going in. This thing is a seeping out juice. I mean, it's a coming out like Niagara Falls, ladies and gentlemen. It's crazy. Never seen anything like it before in my life. I mean, this is insane. Crazy. I'm gonna take one more bite here, and I'll tell you what it tastes like. This is madness. All right, coastal cod sandwich. A simple sandwich, a simple blend. Very few ingredients. You know, it's got the cod sandwich. It's it's uh, the codfish. It's breaded, battered, and fried. It also comes with the pickles, of course, and the tartar sauce and the bun, and that's it. All right, the fish itself, you bite in. Of course, it's very light, very flaky, and. Uh, very, uh, very airy, you know, just very light, um, no real chewiness to it at all. It has a melt-in-your-mouth type of texture, as, as much many types of fish do have, especially from Long John Silver's. It has that melt-in-your-mouth type of flavor. However, the breading does offer a crunch to it, and, uh, kind of gives it some texture, in a sense. The breading itself does contribute a saltiness to the fish as well. Now, if it were just that, it'd be a very simple sandwich, very, as I said, very... Just very simple, very light, very airy, and not much more to it. However, the tartar sauce and the pickles, oh, great review bar, here we go again, if you're stupid tang in this. Well, it's true. The fact of the matter is, of course, the pickles contribute a vinegariness, and the tartar sauce contributes a tanginess, which, as I seem to say in every review, con contracts and contradicts the flavors of the lighter and airier, you know, fish sandwich, and is able to give it that little kick to it which I think makes it all the more pleasurable. Overall, I think it's a decent tasting sandwich. However, I do say that be wary while you're eating this, especially in the car, as the thing just seeps, you know, juice and sauce and what have you, and it could pull up and it could definitely create a mess of, of some kind while you're, you know, while you're eating. And nobody wants that, right? Nobody, nobody wants a mess while you're eating. But as I said, it's a very simple sandwich. Again, very light, very airy, the fish is. Um, get that little crunch and saltiness from the breading and you know counteracting that of course is the vinegariness and tanginess from the pickles and the tartar sauce all right folks how much does this cost the uh, the coastal cod sandwich it's 4.99 for the sandwich which i think is a little bit pricey for what it is 
think it's more of a $3.99 sandwich than a $4.99, but hey, it's not my decision what they want to price it, you know, it's up to, up to Long John Silver's if, you know, however they want to price it and how much money they want to make this given day. Alright, fact of the matter is, what are we going to be rating this sandwich out of 10? Factoring in the price, factoring in the sandwich itself, what it tastes like, I'm just going to be giving this sandwich a 7.3 out of 10, very slightly below average, which is 7.5 on the scale, simply because while it tastes okay, it's just an average tasting sandwich, the pooling of the juices can be a bit of a, you know, a bit of a little hassle, and also I think the pricing could be a bit better. That's all I have for you today. I know we rushed through it, but I'm tired and eager to get to sleep. But I decided to power through this nonetheless and, and do it. That's all I got for you, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Coastal Cod Sandwich, reviewed from Long John Silver. As I'm your host for the Port of the Week. Take care, and I'll see you later.